What's going on, Nakamas? It's your boy Mosey here, back with another episode of Mosey Reacts. On this episode of Mosey Reacts, I have episode 530 of One Piece. But before I get into today's episode, this is a reminder that this is not a market substitute. You should always support the official release. I'm really hoping uh, when um, Pag uh, was like, hey, come back to the Fishman Cafe later when you got everybody, that he's hoping that him and Brooke plan like a song for us. しつかに。静かにだ。気づかれてることだぞ。今のうちで早く船に乗り込めし。全員俺を持って出航準備を。急げ、急げ。いつ到着するかもしれん。もう巨人とはやらねえぞ。急いでレッドライオン抜けろ。くそ。憧れのマーメイド壁。全て一目だけでも怖い人魚を見たかった。諦めろってんだよ、バカチ。すべこべ言わずに来るんだ。おい。あ、あの、はい。巨人とも戦
Oh, you shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Sounds about Nami. Neptune, maybe? But he's... He has a trident, and I thought that was Poseidon. The fact that your eyes are showing through your sunglasses. Well, Luffy's got to go. それ<笑><笑> Tashkani。Not gonna lie, the shark has like a really like plain face. I couldn't tell if that was a good smile or a bad smile. <laughs> I think it's like being invited to the Queen's Palace or like blow it in their minds. Dude, Sanji's looking freaking ripped right now. <laughs> I love that Ivan Clay says Bon Clay as having influence as far as Fishman Island. Nope, he's good. <laughs> <laughs> Chopper looking so proud. You guys are using words like holy and celestial, and last time I heard that, it did not go over well. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
町にはうまいもんいっぱいあんのかもちろん宴の準備ならできておるんじゃもんそっか About fucking time. We haven't had a party in for fucking ever. See that Megalo's lap. I just couldn't read his face. It's just so. Hate to be mean, but stupid. Like. You have that dumb smile on your face. I cannot read it. I fucking love it, though. Yeah, <laughs> 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 If you're telling next episode is a fucking banquet, I don't know if I can hold off. Why the cuffs? That's so scary. Is he gonna wear him like Madara? And he took a handful? So if a human's at 10, that means fishmen at standard at are at then 100. So it just keeps doubling it every time they take a pill. So it goes from 200 to 400 to 800 to 1600. And what's his name took at least five. I don't know, and it's scaring the fuck out of me. I guess. I mean, so I, I feel like I was right about the premonition. Luffy's destroying the island to stop something worse from happening. <laughs> oh,
Oh, we're about to throw hands right fucking now. Oh, we're about to throw hands right fucking now. Um, is that a dead dog around his neck? Is that a dead fucking dog around his neck? Oh, oh, it, oh, it's on. It is on. Oh, it is on. Oh, oh, I will fucking end your life right now. Actually, I don't know if it's a dog or not. That looks eerie. I thought before when he first, like, in the shadows, it looked like a dog. But it's pretty long. But either way, dog or fox. Oh, that's fucked. Oh. One long dog boy if I've ever seen one. Well, there was that long dog from um, Tonky, right? That one village, remember, where everything was like long and everything? There was that long wiener dog if you got it from there. But also, also second thing, um, when he broke those handcuffs... I, don't, I guess I don't know handcuffs, but like, were were those C Prism handcuffs that he broke, or were they just regular handcuffs? Like, did he is he was he showing his strength? Like, yo, I didn't just break handcuffs. I broke C Prism handcuffs. I doubt they were C Prism. Okay, okay. I was just like, dude, if he's just trying to like flex like that, being like, yo, because I'm. I understand Sea Prism is supposed to be extremely strong, but this dude also took five energy steroids, so five times, ten times stronger than a human, and he took five of those, so 50 times stronger than a human. Could that break a Sea Prism handcuff? No, those were pretty much regulars. The whole handcuff thing was pretty much like, hey, watch me mess you up with my hands tied because you guys are screwed. Okay. Honestly, at first I thought he was going to do like the whole, um, when, um, Madara faced, um, the fourth Hokage, remember when he put like those hand, those chains on, I thought that's what he was going to do and start using that as a fucking weapon. I was like, that's going to be fucking terrifying. 10, 20, 40. See, at first I was a little confused on what they were doing with like the, the doubling. I don't know why, but I would, I thought they were doing it like the other way, I think, like. I don't think they were necessarily doubling it, but doubling it on the original number. Like, what I thought it was is like, if he takes, I didn't think it was gonna be like 10, 20, 40, 80, 60, 30. I thought it was gonna be like 10. Then since he took two of them, well now it's 20 times and it's 50 times. And if he took five, it'd only be 50 times more. So it'd be 10 times five. So you'd only be 50 times stronger versus doubling it he's 320 times stronger you know that's where i was confused on how they were going to play and that's why i needed to rewind it as if fishman messing up your speed at mock speed isn't terrifying enough <laughs> facts plus how strong is the average human they're saying a regular fishman is 10 times stronger than is it east blue usopp strength that's a good question too i mean like what is a normal human like, would Polly be a normal human? Because Polly doesn't have a devil fruit power. He's just, like, I don't know. Garp is a normal human. He's just really, he's just trained a lot. So, Garp is still a normal. He's just a really strong normal person, so. All right, well, that was it for my reaction to episode 530 of One Piece. And it looks like we're kind of shaping up for, like, an Arlong Park Part 2 but in my opinion, it looks like it's going to be like a better arc or like a better like redo of Arlong Park. Um, just because of like some of the, like the nuances here. Like one, I think, is that we obviously have a full crew. Um, Nami's with us, you know, versus that other one. It was kind of like we're I don't want obviously Nami was part of our crew, but that was like the solid moment. I think that's Nami, like, Nami was like, help me, Luffy. And that was like the moment we got her, you know. Um, so it's like now we we're established. We're all together. We're not we're not breaking any ties. We're solid, you know. So it's gonna be different on that aspect, and then also on the aspect of like with Nami's backstory in Arlong Park. It was like people in Arlong Park they hated Arlong's pirates. You know, it wasn't 
it was clear cut black and white, right? They Arlong pirates were holding that town hostage. There were no mixed feelings. But in this arc, it seems like there are going to be mixed feelings because there are going to be people like Cammy who are like, oh, I don't mind humans like Luffy. But then there probably are going to be like those uh, merfolks or mermaids or whatever, fishmen people who are normal, who, who are like, my grandpa was discriminated against by humans, so I actually don't like humans, you know? So there are going to be those mixed emotions that I don't think we got to see in Arlong Park. So then when Luffy's, you know, doing the right thing, there are going to be those people like, um, what was her name? Charlie, who are like, oh my God, Luffy's going to destroy Arlong, or he's going to destroy Fishman Island. He's bad, you know? It's, uh, so that's what I mean as in, this seems like it's going to be like an Arlong Park part two, but better. We'll see. I do appreciate you guys though sticking around and watching this reaction. It's been real. It's been interesting. It's been hella interesting later on.